What's up, what's up everybody? So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I stay organized whenever I'm working with music videos, documentaries, uh, short films. It, it doesn't matter what you're working on, commercial or not. The biggest thing whenever you have a big project is stay organized. I learned this whenever I was working for a company called Heritage Films. We used to make documentaries for families. Now what that included was, you know, we had multiple cameras, we had, uh, you know, photos that the family would give us of like their, you know, childhood and stuff like that. We had to digitize those and store those in our video sessions. And originally I worked on this with, uh, with Premiere. However, lately I've shifted over to DaVinci. I just, I like the color grading and the editing in it a little bit better. So basically I kind of converted it. And what's cool is DaVinci has some features that actually, it makes this a lot quicker, uh, a lot easier to do. The biggest thing is staying organized. And that actually starts before you get into your editing software. So let's, let's go ahead and jump to that. Yeah, let's, let's dive into it. So again, this all starts before you even get into your editing software. This, uh, so this part of the steps works whether you're on Final Cut, Premiere, or DaVinci, whatever you're using. Starting out, I, I keep these organized. I've got you know my project folder. So back when I was on Premiere and After Effects and basically anything Adobe, keep your stuff, keep the sessions saved in there. Going down, you've got your footage folder. Now I've moved all of the shots that we shot over here into this. Um, had I used multiple cameras, you know, this would be camera A, camera B, camera C. Uh, we actually did this music video entirely on my on my Z cam using the Blackmagic, the video assist. And I've got all of that all in one. Uh, maybe later I'll probably go in and kind of, you know, organize it by scene. Everything else is kind of self-explanatory. Um, audio, the music for the song. Uh, this is the song that I'm gonna be setting up for the music video. I just keep that in that folder. I know that it's always gonna be in there. Had I had this been a YouTube video, then you know, your VO would be here if it was a recorded separate microphone. If you need it for anything else, you know, sound effects, if we, you know, you wanted to add your own sound stuff, soundscapes, this is where that would go. Everything has a place. And I know this might seem overkill if you're just doing YouTube videos and like, you know, you, it's you yourself and that's it. But if you get into the habit of doing stuff like this with the, the easy small projects, by the time you get to a bigger, more complex editing session, you've kind of got the, you, the learning curve of this out of the way. So it just makes it a thousand times easier to share with everybody else. So again, graphics uh, for this, I think I'll have, I'll get rid of that. I think I'll have, you know, I've got the logo for these guys. Um, this is what they had sent me, which was just, you know, a black background with white logo. So I've already gone into Pro, uh, Photoshop, not Pro Tools, and I pulled off the black out of the out of their logo, and we'll probably end up using it in the video, or at least on the film card. Again, overlays if you got anything that you want. I keep this just for framing. It, you can throw a little overlay. I'm sure DaVinci has some built-in things, but you know, it's a little nice, nice things to keep in your in your hierarchies. As you export to your client, go here, and then once you've got the final, and only when you've got approval for the final, then it goes here to the master. And then, yeah, that's basically how my hierarchy works. If you guys want, um, let me know in the comments below. I can probably package this all up and give it to you guys just without any of the assets, but at least this way you'll have kind of the hierarchy set up. Or pause the video, make, you've seen the folders, um, go through and, and copy this. I promise you, you stay organized with your sessions like this. It will save you so much time in six months when you have to come back and somebody wants, you know, oh, we want some social clips out of that. Like, all right, fine. So then I know where all my stuff is at. All right. So now we got to jump over into DaVinci. Uh, it's super simple. I use what's called power bins inside of DaVinci to stay organized and just to be able to pull this stuff up pretty quick. Uh, go over here, make sure your power bins window is, is available. I, I don't a hundred percent remember how to find that, but yeah, there's plenty of videos on that. But once you get your power bins open, um, come over here. You've got, I, I keep all of my stuff that I use pretty consistently. So like things like overlays, um, you got film flashes. I use these in just about every music video I do. Um, I've got some VHS stuff, just different things that are like real generic, you know, little transition things. And you, know, you don't want to go hunt for that every single time you make a new project. So keeping it in a power bin makes it super easy to just have DaVinci, it knows where it's at, have it ready to go. And then from there you go to your master, select all of this stuff. Um, we're gonna, I'm not making a YouTube video, so I'm not gonna select that. And I'm not working for my mom on this project. So get rid of that, drag everything else over here to our project folder. And from here, now it's all, it's all ready to go. Um, if this was, you know, 
make sure we got it all. And look, it's brought it all in from our power bins. Now, real quick, just to make a power bin, it's stupid simple. You just right click, you can even make it over here, but I'll just show you from this side. So you go right click, new bin. If I can type today, demo. Okay, so we take this and you know pretend there was stuff in here that we wanted to keep and use all the time. So we would take that, just drag it right there. And now you see it pop up here, which means if I pull this up, it's ready to go there and bam, there you are. Anything that was inside of that bin will be in the power bins. Let's clean that up because no, I don't want that folder bugging me later. All right, and now the, the files that we had earlier. So in the audio folder, I keep some background music in here. I'm not gonna be using any of those for this. So let's go to, this is our hierarchy that we made. Um, we're gonna go in and go to the audio folder, music, and we know that this is the song that we're gonna be working on for the music video. So we'll take this, slap it in there, and bam, it's ready to go, ready to drag into our, song, our thing. Bet, that works. Okay, so from here, rinse and repeat. This is set up, I have it set up where I've got, you know, three different cameras that, Sometimes if I'm shooting a live show or stuff like that, I'll use multiple cameras and again, staying organized. A cam goes here, B cam here, C cam here. It's pretty self-explanatory, but a lot of people don't think to do these things because you're not working with this many cameras. But if you were, or in a lot of cases with music videos, you have a storyline and things like that that you would keep separate from the performance shots. There's your folders to put it in. So let's go back to our hierarchy, go to our footage. I kept everything in this one folder because this, this video has a little bit of a storyline, but nothing crazy. And we shot them all the same. So bring those into the A cam. I'll reorg. I'm, I mean, I might break these up later, but for now, this is, this is where I would go with this. So yeah, this is, that's all of our files. Um, and then I keep, you know, for my, for Mertz Media, I have, you know, I'll use the same outro on pretty much all my videos. So you can see, I've got my fast intro that we saw earlier in the video. Um, and then, you know, for the outro, I've got that saved in here as well. This is kind of my old stuff that I keep around. Uh, I've got a vertical thing made, you know, it's all just in case I need it. Sometimes I won't, but it doesn't take up any extra file space to put it in the power bin. So why not have it at your disposal, ready to go every single time. So yeah, that's, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, be sh you know, let me know in the comments or, you know, be sure to join me over on Twitch. I, I stream pretty regularly now. And, you know, before we jump into the games, I always hang out in the beginning and we're going to do some just chatting. And if you guys have questions or if I'm going to do some reaction videos, whatever, that's where we're going to do it. So be sure to join me in over there. Link for that will be in the description below. And as always, be sure like subscribe, do all the things. Um, yeah, got some cool stuff coming out and I really appreciate you guys for, for sticking around, checking out the channel. All right, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.